بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرز ان دس ویڈیو بھی ویل لرن ہاؤ ٹو کریئٹ لاگ ان اپلیکیشن ان سی ایس پرو ٹیٹوریل ون کریئٹ دا مین ڈکشنری اینڈ فارم دس از دا فرسٹ ٹیٹوریل ان ا سیریز اف ٹیٹوریل ڈیمونسٹریٹنگ ہاؤ ٹو کریئٹ اے لاگ ان اپلیکیشن فار دس وی ویل ڈو دا فالوئنگ ایکٹیویٹیز کریئٹ اپلیکیشن ڈائریکٹری کریئٹ سب ڈائریکٹریز ٹو ارینج فائلز پراپرلی create user information file in excel convert excel file into csvo data file for external use create external dictionary to read converted external file from excel to csvo create dictionary in csvo for login application create form in csvo define multi languages and write logic to authenticate login information from external file to run the login application first we need to create application folder right click on the empty space select new and then folder from the contextual menu window will create the new folder of your current location give your application name in our case the application folder name is app underscore login shortcut key to create new folder simply press ctrl shift n at the same time and enter your desired folder name Now we will create sub folders in our main application folder. Under application folder, we have created four sub folders: one zero one underscore login folder. In this folder, we will save our main application. We will save all external dictionaries in one zero two underscore ext underscore dic folder. External dictionary must have an associated data file, which we will save in external data folder. An external file dictionary can contain only one level. You cannot create multi-level dictionary for external use. An external file other than the primary data file that we can use in data entry or batch application. This file will be associated our external dictionary. We will save external file in 103 underscore ext underscore data folder. We will convert data from Excel structure to CSV data file. This Excel file will be saved in 104 underscore Excel folder. We begin by opening CS Pro. Click on the CS Pro icon on your desktop. This will be a new application. So we will select create a new application and then press OK to get the data entry application. Or you can start from the menu. Click on the file and then new. Over here, select data entry application or copy data entry application and then click on OK button. Click on 101 underscore login folder which we will use for application and give the application name. The application extension will be .ent and then click on save button. To create main dictionary for login application, Click on Meatballs menu on the right side of the screen. The application name and dictionary name can be same or you can give different name. I am giving the same name. The extension will be .dcf. After that, click on the Save button. Click on OK button. Click on Yes. CS Pro has created main dictionary. The left side of the screen is the dictionary tree. The dictionary tree contains the record names and the item names. The right side of the screen is for record and item attributes. Login screen has two sections. One is ID section and the other one is login information section. Based on this screen, we will create record and items in our main dictionary for login application. We begin by clicking on the plus sign to open the ID item or clicking on the ID S0. We will modify the dictionary ID label by clicking on the item label. If you want to modify a dictionary ID, you can modify. But in our case, I am not modifying ID. Data type for ID is numeric. Length is 4. Zero fill is yes. What is zero fill? If numeric item with a length of 4 is set, then during data entry a value of 99 was entered. 
If 0 fill is set to yes, the value would appear as 0099. If 0 fill is set to no, the value would appear as 99. This is just matter of formatting. ID item has been created successfully. Now we are going to work on rest of the items. We will create these items in login underscore app underscore rec. This is the first record and it is created by default when we create application. If you want to rename record, then you can do it. But in our case, we will use the same record name for rest of the items. First, click on login underscore app underscore rec and then right click on a blank space and then click on add item. Give the item label as application version and press enter. The item name will be generated based on item level. If you want same item level and item name, then just press enter. Otherwise you can rename. We will rename item name. Data type is numeric. Length is 4. Decimal is 2. Decimal character is set yes. If it is set yes, it means that decimal is part of the length. It will be look like this. Our first item application version has been created successfully. To save our time, we will create rest of the items in fast forward mode. Your dictionary would be look like this. Based on this data dictionary, we are going to create form layout. Click on the form icon in the toolbar. This is the first form and it is created by default when we create application. If you are looking this window, it means Capy option is enabled. If it is not, then go to option and then click on data entry. Please make sure in data entry option that use question text is checked. Shortcut key to show name or labels in tree. Simply press Ctrl plus T at the same time. Name will be in capital letters and labels will be in small letters. Right now we can see form label in small letters on our screen. First, we are going to rename form name and label. Right click on the form label and then select property set label name as login form in small letters it may contain any characters including a space and be up to 120 characters long set name as f underscore login underscore form in capital letters it must consist of letters digits and the underscore character it must not begin or end with underscore form label and name has been renamed Press Ctrl plus T at the same time to confirm updated form label and name. Now we are going to place dictionary items on the form. Click on the dictionary tab to see dictionary records and items. First I will drag the ID item from the dictionary T onto the form and I accept the default drag options and press OK. Then Drag the login information record from the dictionary tree onto the form and accept the default drag option and press OK. Now I rearranged my login screen to make it look like this login screen. First, I am going to give form title. I will add one text box to add in the form title. To do this, right click on the blank space, select add box. Text box will be login screen. Use custom font to increase font size and type. I will increase font size with same font type. I will change text color as well. Click on the text plate and select your color and press OK and OK. I will place application version parallel login identification so they are positioned like they are on the login form. Select all the labels and then click align from the menu and select left. All the labels are set, now left align. Now select fields 
and then click align from the menu and select left all the fields are set now left align select all labels and fields and move upwards now our login screen look like login form right click on application version field and select field properties in properties windows check protected and press ok at this point our first tutorial has been finished we have learned in this tutorial how to create dictionary and form for login application in our next tutorial we will create excel file and external dictionary to use in our login application